In this video, we're going to look at how we actually um, take the video, the product that we created, our project, and how we save that down to um, a file that we can actually share around. So we save it to a video file. At the moment, it's not. It's actually the working file that we use in this program. So if you actually gave this file to anyone, um, they wouldn't be able to use it because they won't access the actual videos behind it. So what we need to do is produce this into one video, export it into one video, which is one file, which is going to be a video file. So to do that, we come up to the Share tab up here. I'm clicking on that. And then we're just going to save this on the local um, on the local area, okay, local drive. Uh, we don't need to export it to anywhere else. So I'm gonna come up to here, I'm gonna give it a name. School ground seems fine, I'm fine with that. I'm gonna click down here to give it a location. I'm okay with it being in the videos. That's fine, if it goes into my PC in the videos there. Um, and now you actually might not have your event settings open, but if you have a look here, this is a 79 megabit file, which is a fairly significantly big file. Uh, will make it difficult to share it. Um, it'll take you a bit of time to upload, depends on how fast your uploads are. And we don't need it to be that um, big. So I'm gonna come into here and I'm gonna click on the automatic and I'm instead gonna choose YouTube 720p. So YouTube 720p HD, and you see it's actually dropped down to 33 megabits. So I've done all that stuff there. Okay, so now I'm happy with the file name, I'm happy with the location, uh, the file size isn't too huge, and I'm gonna come over here to this little button down the corner, right bottom right hand corner, and I'm gonna click on export. And you can see that it's gonna go through and start processing. Now this is gonna take a bit of time, it's gonna come up here and tell you how long it's gonna take. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause this recording while it does it, and then come back when it's finished. Okay, so now it's come back and we've actually finished, it's gone to the end there and we can see the video file here. If I click on View and Explorer, it should open that up in my File Explorer and I actually see, there it is, there is the video that we just produced. So here we are at the library. Radio, and that's the file that you would then share with wherever you need to share it. Okay, so I'm gonna go done, and it's all finished, and there, you have finished your project in um, Premiere Rush.